been trying to sell your services and people aren't buying your services, there could be one of three reasons why that might be happening. One is that maybe you're not talking to the right people. And when you're not talking to the right people, you have to try really, really hard to persuade them into believing you and want, even wanting your service. And that's, that's really hard work and I think it's unnecessary work. Um, so the solution to that is to look at, as you share your content uh, out there on social media, look at who is responding to your content. Go and look at their profiles and kind of get to know what kind of person are they that might be, you know, as you, as you see several people who are responding to your content, you'll start seeing a pattern. Oh, what kind of people are these that are responding to me? And then you'll start to see, oh, these are the kinds of people maybe I should be talking with and focusing my content for and focusing my products and services and how I describe my products and services might be more uh, directed towards somebody like them, right? So that's number one is make sure you're talking to the right people. Number two is as you talk to the right people or as you have them in your audience, then it's about building a, a friendship, as I've talked about, building a friendship where they start to see that you actually care for people like them because you're helping them with useful pieces of advice. Okay, so that's, that's the number two is maybe they're not buying because there's no friendship there yet. There's no relationship there. So the solution to that is to create and share more useful, helpful content that reminds, reminds them of what you do for people in your business. And the third reason is maybe now there's a friendship but they are still not, they're still not buying your service because maybe the pricing is not quite right. You're asking them to sign for something that's several hundred dollars or several thousand dollars and they've never bought anything from you before. So the solution there is to make sure you're offering something that's low price. Not your lowest price thing shouldn't be several hundred dollars in my opinion. Your lowest price thing ideally would be something that's uh, a couple dozen dollars, maybe like a $25, $50 online workshop. And once they buy that from you and experience what it's like to buy from you and, and use one of your products and services, then they're going to be much more interested to buy something that is higher investment for them. Maybe not thousands of dollars right away, but then maybe the next level, several hundred dollars, etc. If it's if it's right for them, it's a good way to for them to test you out and also for you to test out whether they really would benefit from your services and products. So talk to the right people, and you can gauge that by looking at who is responding to your content and studying the commonalities between your the people who are responding to your content. Secondly, is build a friendship by creating useful, genuinely useful, and maybe hopefully even entertaining content. And over time, that creates a friendship and a sense of warmth and familiarity. And three is make sure you're offering um, a low, low enough price product. And there's my little dog buddy. <laughs> low enough price product that um, people can test out what it's like to, to work with you.